It has been announced in the international newspapers that Muslims are being killed and soon even more will be killed with Swiss weapons as the German army is going to supply the Kurdish Peshmerga in Iraq with Swiss weapons and Swiss precision ammo. Because the German army uses Swiss high precision ammunition from Octagon Switzerland whose RUAG RUAG state run armament manufacturer has the largest financial turnover of the entire European world of ammunition dealers and is the world's fifth largest small arms producer like handguns, assault rifles and sniper guns. Not bad for a so called neutral country, eh? Well, Swiss's neutrality swindle knows very well that this way dirty businesses can be done with all parties and not just one side of the conflict just as Swiss's arms are, are sold to Wahhabi Saudi Arabia and Wahhabi Qatar who gave them to all sorts of wannabe jihadi military groups as ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Al-Shabaab, the Taliban or you name it so it was today, you can read that, today, that's uh, September the 7th, 2014, or yesterday. And uh, you can read it. This, this company here in Switzerland is the biggest ammunition producer of the entire Europe. That's Ruak. Amotech. This is Nazi Templar stuff, folks. This is Octagon. They're the biggest in Europe. This small country, they've got the biggest ammunition manufacturer. You read it? And there's a lot more interesting things here in it. I mean, this is Octagon. The Swiss are a bunch of very organized criminals with the country. And uh, here you can read it, that um, it says, yeah. The Swiss German Ruach Group is definitely Europe's biggest provider of military and law enforcement ammunition and the global top player in the field. Basically, no competitor has the skills and the manufacturing capabilities to cover the range of military and police application that Ruach products do while at the same time offering other typically military-oriented products from hand grenades to mortar and art artillery shells, well, etc, etc. Um, they are the top providers of uh, uh, snipe sniping. You read the whole article. This is Octagon. Not bad for a neutral country, eh? Not bad at all. Well, it's just sly for the bits for business. You say you're neutral, you know, so they can provide both sides with the with goodies. And Swiss hand grenades are being used by the jihadists to kill Syrians and Shia Muslims. Swiss Movec armored vehicles are being used in Saudi Arabia to crush to crush pro protest marches under those Swiss wheels. Swiss Pilatus airplanes get used for genocides as in Darfur. Swiss sniper rifles kill protesters at Maidan Square in the Ukraine, as you can see here. And Swiss precision sniper ammo sold to the Wahhabi Emirates found their way into the hands of Iraqi insurgents and the Taliban killing and maiming and wounding many GI US soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan exterminated with Swiss precision. And I'll bet you that these sniper rifles here used in Ferguson, Missouri that they were holding Swiss precision sniper bullets in the chamber looking down the barrel at unarmed US civilians. Yes, Swiss Ruach Armaments are even having factories in the US, in Tampa, 
and they are the number one in the world on sniper tools like Zeke guns and Ruach sniper ammo, even used by NATO special forces and worldwide octagon police units and police anti or sh should I say pro-terror squads including the US of A. Well, you can see this is the American police you know they, they like these Swiss um, ammunition. There's a new ammunition company they establish a new company in Tampa you know Swiss precision that's what I like. And I told you Octagon they have a fifth column all over the world I mean, how could it be that the you know the U.S. cowboy state, you know, if I could say this, uh, that they have um, you know the, the number one handgun state of the world, that they're not even using uh, American uh, cartridges, you know? Can't they manufacture them themselves? You know, it says in Tampa, Florida. Ruach Ammo Tech USA Incorporated is located. Have a, even got a factory there. You know, they're everywhere. This is Octogon. It's part of a fifth, is a, a fifth column of Swiss sleeper agents, all over. Otherwise, the um, the American police, which is not really American, it's Octogon. They would not use a foreign ammunition. The Americans are quite capable to make the ammunition themselves, eh? So you see? The Swiss don't wage war, but their Swiss weapons do. Apart from the worldwide operating Swiss Octagon Assassination Units as the SS Einsatzgruppen by the Swiss Colonel Karl Jäger and the Jäger Report, and even today in and outside Switzerland mostly hiding in disguise of fifth column sleeper cells of the uh, of the Swiss Nazi Templars. And uh, in the next uh, some one of the next uh oh, you'll see. So this is one of the world's, uh, or maybe for some areas, the mo the biggest manufacturer of um, ammunition. And this is not a peaceful people. Why would a peaceful, so-called neutral peaceful people make all these weapons and so they can kill people? I think this gun was used in Maidan place. You see this little spare part underneath? This is, I think it's a, uh, well, I don't know. But this is, um, it, it looks like the gun they use in Maidan to kill Ukrainians. Um, well, since 18, 1863, well, it's old, I mean. And they got, uh, you know, factories in the USA, in Germany, Sweden, Hungary, even in Malaysia. They're all over. Wow. This is this is the real Switzerland. And they're not neutral at all and they've never been they they have never been neutral. They never were. It says Switzerland's army doesn't go to war but its military equipment does. In two thousand eleven Saudi Arabia and Swiss Piranha tanks to crack down on protests in Bahrain. Libyan rebels use Swiss ammunition against Muammar Gaddafi's troops. And Syrian rebels have been throwing Swiss hand grenades against President Bashar al-Assad soldiers. Uh, Swiss sniper rifles were used against civilians on Kiev's Maidan Square. Many died in brutal police actions. Uh, Switzerland, a neutral country at the heart of Europe, known for an active war, etc. Um, yeah, well, you can read the whole thing here. And now they are going to export to the Kurds Swiss ammunition through Germany. The Swiss always export their arms through another country you know, to, to hide things. Either through Germany, well Germany has always been their base, or either through the, uh, the United Arab Emirates and Qatar, 
where they shifted their banking, um, the weight of, of their banking business to. From 2008 on, they uh, applied for a banking license for Qatar. And this is the same year when the IRS and the US uh, Justice Department started to put pressure on the Swiss criminal Nazi banks. So it all fits together. You know, the Swiss, I, I told you, the Swiss banks, there's a reason that they went to Qatar. Well, the, the reason is coming out. You know, they're selling ammunition and guns to Qatar. And whom, it's a Wahhabi state. You know, they want an Islamic state. So <laughs> who's the first one who, who gets the ammunition? Uh, and the, 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 the high precision Swiss ammunition to kill US soldiers and and Shia Muslims and etc. Well, I understand these these guys, they want their, their own Islamic State, and I've got no problems with that. But the Swiss shouldn't get rich on it. And they shouldn't oppose, you know, like people, you know, peoples one against another. The Sunnis and the Shiites should just get together and, and you know, be Muslims like. But I guess the Templars in the Western world, they don't want peace amongst uh, Muslims. They want to set them up once one against another, you know, divide and rule, Shia against Sunnis. So it says, this year on March 13, this is 2014, March 13, uh, Switzerland has eased its restrictions on arms exports. And you can all see what happened. Maidan place in the Ukraine. Now they're sending it to the Kurds and they already exported ammunition and guns to, um, to Qatar. You can see the results. It's going very quick now. So Swiss weapons and Swiss high precision sniper ammo kill Muslims on both sides, both Shia and Sunni. And these Swiss SVP, Swiss People's Party, show how Mr. and Mrs. Swissy really feel about Muslims and Islam. And 80% of the Swiss population votes uh, this SVP right extremist Nazi party which actually is the biggest Nazi party in the world. Switzerland has the highest gun ownership per capita in the world and they're into precision killing from a safe distance. And this is what the whole damn place is about. Murder from a distance and delegate premeditated crimes against humanity from a safe distance from their octagon utopia in the Alps. And these are the kind of uh, images and posters they show in Switzerland. In the streets, I mean, it's horrible, in the streets and um, in the media, newspapers, on television, uh, nobody does a thing against it. Really nobody. There's nobody who is. There's non, no Swiss who really is against it. Some of them, they do it, do it pro forma, you know as if there would be some Swiss who are like left left hand left uh, wing and who are against it. So this is how the Swiss really think about Muslims. You see, you know, it's quite humiliating showing, you know, the black guy on the back of a Swiss and the Muslim girl on the back of a Swiss. It's very humiliating. It's it's bad. So this is how they really think about immigrants and Muslims. But, I mean, selling a lot of guns and ammo, then they don't have any problems with it, selling it to the Muslims, to both parties. And um, probably their aim is, well, uh, the Swiss aim is, uh, let's have the Muslims kill each other. So they won't come to Switzerland, so that's why they sell it uh, to the jihadist guys. Uh, through uh, Qatar, Saudi Arabia and the United Emirates and um, they also sell it to the other side um, selling and selling them now to Germany and they come at the Kurdish side so they can kill on the the, uh, the ISIS jihadist uh, guys so it's it's evil this is plain evil 
This is octagon behind it. You hear nothing else in Switzerland about how innovation brings them to the top. Just as having a number one market position on sniper ammo, zipping worldwide towards numerous premature death cases. Well, I know one of the seven principles of success and the innovation. No conscience. And every neighbour around me in the village has several guns and assault rifles in their homes, except me, the foreigner. And this video I'm making here is very dangerous and not allowed by the Swiss censorship laws of the Octagon dictatorship giving facts about this super large Swiss Ruach gun dealer company standing above all laws both internationally and domestically. Hey Swissy, how do you like me innovating the world with facts about what you've been hiding? And in fact this Swiss innovation consists only on a strategical business level of creating a commercial monopoly on the market that nobody else has through inventions by foreign workers in Switzerland whose patents automatically belong to the Swiss multinational company. Now let's be honest, next to slight banking, the Swiss never made any great inventions nor any valuable contributions to mankind. Never. Swiss neighbor was testing his machine gun just around the corner. <laughs> 